Hey y'all, it's Laura and I have another grab bag challenge for you today. This one is using scrapbooks and cards, etc. sampler bag. Now I have gone ahead and subscribed to this because I will get a sampler kit, a grab bag, if you will, sent to my house every month. Awesome. So that I can continue this little series for you guys. So this is May's kit and I was a little late in subscribing to it so I got mine a little afterwards, but that's okay. And I want to show you what I got. So my understanding <laughs> is that on this card, uh, which is the theme for the month, it's just make a smile, your signature accessory. It lists all of the things, well, most of the things that are in this sampler pack. So I'm going to show this to you really quick. And if you want to read this in depth, you can go ahead and pause the video and you can read through it. Okay, so on to the goodies. Now I see lots of little things floating about. These are epoxy hearts. I believe they're from Pink Fresh Studio. We've got some, I see one, I think I saw another one just now when I dumped it out. I think there are two of these little tassel bows which are also from Pink Fresh Studio. I've got a Simple Stories I Am sticker sheet. Love the butterflies! We've got, this looks like a pink fresh frame. It says love, has a little stitching on it. That's cool. We've got some ephemera pieces. Uh, these look like Simple Stories I Am, a camera and typewriter. Oh, and they are from double sided paper, so they have something on the back. I have a little tag, pretty sure that's Pink Fresh Studio, one sided. And a little ephemera piece, probably also from Pink Fresh Studio. Then we have a Simple Stories I Am, a couple of snap cards or their journaling cards. Let's see, I don't know if there were more in here. I guess we'll see when we go, huh? Okay, so here's two. Put those aside. And again, that smile, that was really cute. I know that's from Freckled Fawn. Got some little wooden buttons with uh, Happy in red and green. We've got some sequins, a ton. Wow, that's a lot of sequins, y'all. <laughs> a lot of sequins from Hero Hues. I'm gonna hold it up close so you can see there's little butterflies in there. So excited to use that. We've got a Thickers alignment guide. I'm not sure, sorry, I'm not sure how useful this is gonna be for me because, you know, it's straight like a ruler. <laughs> but we'll see how we go. Uh, here's the other little pom pom looking thing. There we go. We've got some ephemera pieces. Stay true to you and you will end up incredibly happy. We got a leaf. We've got a flower. I have another little leafy thing and another little leafy thing. All right. So let's put those down and then we've got a couple of leatherette stickers. I see another one over here. We have in this moment and a flower it looks like. Ah, here's another one. I have gotten those in a kit. So those will be fun to play with. And then we have this sticker sheet. Oh, there's two sticker sheets. Yes, two. And I'm pretty sure these were um, from close to my heart. I think that's what that paper said. <laughs> so we've got some alphas in three different colors. We've got these speech bubble and bannery looking pieces here and some papers. Oh, and what is this? We've got some double-sided adhesive. We've got some papers. This is from Simple Stories I Am, I'm fairly certain. So there's that pretty floral and scripty backside. And then this one has some writing on it. It's definitely I Am as well. Some cameras. This feels like Pink Fresh Studio. It's a little bit thicker. We've got some little flowers. Got a pretty teal pattern on the back. Another pink fresh, I recognize that one. <laughs> the pretty foliage and some geometrics on the back. This is another pink fresh with some scallop borders and some scripty font on the back. Another pink fresh, this looks a navy background with green leaves, black and white spots on the back. I have this paper that is pink with some grids and some florals. I have this one with kind of a, a mixed scallop border. 
This one has some icons on it, so that looks kind of cool. And that's the back of that one. Ooh, I like this one. This one's got some books on it. I think I could fussy cut out some of those sections of books. That'd be kind of cool. Back is this pink with red. Have this one here that's kind of a watercolory look. The back is this ledger paper. This beautiful floral. I know that's Simple Stories I Am. And the back of that is just some stripes. Some more stripes, but this one has a different floral, so that's really pretty. And then some butterflies that are definitely going to get fussy cut out, my friends, with a pink stripe on the back. So that is my grab bag, and I will now begin the process video. This sweet photo of my twins is their uh, first little bite of candy. And I thought the colors were great for this little sampler and had a lot of red and green in it from their cute little outfits. And my husband is feeding them Twizzler. He was sitting on the couch eating it and all of a sudden had some very adorable company <laughs> watching him very carefully eat that Twizzler. So he decided to share, well, which I suppose was nice of him, though I was sitting there going, oh gosh, they're a little young for candy, don't you think? <laughs> Oh, uh, but you know how dads are. They parent their own way. And that is definitely the case here. He was going ahead and letting them have a little bit of candy. And he didn't give them a lot. And honestly, the Twizzler was soft and chewy. And they, they couldn't really have choked on it. But uh, it was it was just one of those things. Or as, as a parent, or the mom's going, oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> and dad's like, ah, let him try. He'll be fine. <laughs> You need that balance in your parenting. I have to say, you have to have somebody who's a little bit more careful and somebody who is like, let them be kids, you know? And uh, sometimes my husband and I go back and forth in that. Sometimes I'm the one saying, no, let them be kids, let them have fun. It really depends on the situation, but it's, it's good to have that balance, I think, in your household. So here I've decided to cut one of the 6x6 papers in half and create this nice little central border. And then those little uneven scallops down at the bottom made a little border with that as well. And I'm going to mat my photo. I think I matted it a couple of times. Now I did leave in some of the taping for you so you can see, yes, I did use some of that 1 8 inch tape. It was very good tape. It stuck very well. And I could peel the backing off pretty easily, which is not true of a lot of a tape, <clears throat> American Crafts. <laughs> but I, I don't know, it's very thin. It was a little too thin for what I normally use it for. That's great for tiny embellishments and things like that, but an eighth of an inch is just really, really thin. So just grabbing papers to do some layering. I knew I wanted to create a bit of a column look in the center. So I'm just going to grab different papers and layer them behind the photo. Now, with every grab bag, I tell you, there is a little bit of a challenge to it. There's always something that's a little bit of a challenge. This one seemed easy at first because it's really just a compilation of two main collections, Simple Stories I Am and uh, a mix of Pink Fresh Studios, which all seem to coordinate fairly well. And so I guess not two collections, but two manufacturers, but it did have some other things mixed in. And I think the challenge was that the color scheme of the two separate manufacturers is very different. So the pinks that Pink Fresh Studio uses are not the same as the one Simple Stories uses. So that was a bit of a challenge. I did mix up a little bit with the collections, but I found myself leaning toward one manufacturer or the other for each layout. So for this one in particular, most of this is the Pink Fresh Studio because it had that little bit of little hint of red in it that went well with their outfits and had some green. So that was what I leaned towards with this one, but I believe that black background paper is actually Simple Stories. You can mix them, but it was a little tricky because of that. I did want to add in at least one of those little uh, bow tassel things and also put some tags across the top of the picture. I've seen this done in a lot of layouts lately and I thought I'm going to give that a go. This is a great way to use up scraps. They're not even whole tags, they're just little pieces that are only big enough to poke out the top 
a great way to use up scraps. Or tiny papers, which is what I had in this one. So adding some twine from my stash, I do allow myself to add a couple of things from my stash, but I want the majority of these grab bag layouts to be from the kit. So I've skipped ahead just a little bit, just kind of glued everything down really. And I uh, just went ahead and created a cluster down the bottom right, a cluster at the top left of the photo, and then I'm gonna have the title at the bottom. Now I did go ahead and grab this favorite out of my stash, just because I'm, I always end up with this word, favorite. When you have five kids, putting the word favorite on any of their photos is kind of asking for trouble. <laughs> I can't do it. But in this case, I'm going to use those small alphas to create a title of new favorite food. See how I'm cheating? I'm getting around the favorite. And referring to food instead of a favorite child. <laughs> so that one is from my stash and I've been needing to use it. So I went ahead and grabbed it out of there and gonna just add these little alphas on. This is new favorite food. These close to my heart stickers were actually really nice. I'm not a huge fan of cardstock stickers overall, especially alphas, because I can never get them straight the first time. And so I always end up pulling them back up and putting them back down. And I find with cardstock uh, stickers, re-adhesion is not good. <laughs> Having to pull things up and put it back down usually means I have to glue them. And I don't like doing that, but I will if I need to. So this layout just needs a little bit of scattering and I'm going to use these little sequins, mostly just these green ones because the purple definitely didn't tie in with this layout. Uh, I don't think I ended up getting to use any of the purple actually in the layouts that I did because there wasn't any purple in the papers. So this is more or less uh, how the layout looks. I will add a couple more things, but nothing major. And just gonna scatter these around and then I will glue them down with some glue dots. I find the mini little glue dots work perfectly for sequins. Really, really like them. Now, when you're scattering sequins, just a little tip, you do want it to look a tiny bit random, but at the same time, you don't want big clumps. So you don't want a clump of one color here or color there. So while I have seen some people just sort of toss them on their layout and then glue them where they land, which is awesome. I can't do that. I'm a bit of a control freak about the tiny little scattering things. So I just have to put them down and see where I like them and move them around. I did want to add a little bit of a banner down here at the bottom left, just because I felt like all of the attention was in the center. And I do like to encourage your eye to move through the layout so that you see all of the details and not just, bam, one section. So gluing those down very quickly using that tape. I, <laughs> really, that tape is super, super thin, you guys, and I wasn't sure if I was going to get to use it. I did use it on a couple of other layouts, but I ended up giving up on it. It was just too thin for what I needed. Uh, playing with the stickers to see if I could make some of those work and uh, I really felt like you know what this didn't need a whole lot of embellishing I've already done a lot of sprinkling so I, I think we're about done adding a little bit of Heidi Swap color shine because hello and the splattering is done this is what's left of my grab bag from scrapbooks and cards etc all I have left of the I am Simple Story sticker sheet is these two right here. And then I have used quite a few of the green and yellow alphas, but the pink wasn't quite right. <laughs> so I only ended up using one of those. I also used several of these uh, from, I think these were from, ooh, I don't remember the name. But these are great. I used quite a few of these. I'll probably hold on to those for some future pocket pages. I did use some of this tape, which was pretty fantastic, though it's super thin and I don't have much use for a super thin tape. It's only like an eighth of an inch. And so I did double up to use it a couple times. I did use some of the sequins, but of course this is a giant package. So this will last me for years, probably. <laughs> so there's that. And this is all that I have left of the papers. Used it up pretty well, I think. Had a couple of fussy cut butterflies I didn't end up using. Hold on to those. And of course, this. I used this once on my Traveler's Notebook layout, but honestly, 
if I'm serious, ruler would do the same thing. Um, <laughs> So here are the layouts that I got done. I have two 12 by 12 layouts. You saw me make this one on the process video, new favorite food. And then this one I did for a scrapping challenge. It's a sketch based layout. Here is my first pocket page. It's called Labor Day because it was a Labor Day weekend that we spent hanging out with the kids go. So there's the first two pockets. Really love this right here. Okay, and the next pocket page is this one, which is a Project Life for October of 2014. Yes, yes, I'm that far behind. Here we go. This is October. This is a lot of the simple stories I am, which I just absolutely adore that collection. And the very last thing that I have is a traveler's notebook layout that I just use like the scraps to make. So here is that. Very simple, but I thought it was uh, pretty fantastic. Alright guys, so that's it. Thanks so much for joining me for this grab bag challenge. And until next time, bye!